welcome to another video from Creativo Solutions. You're currently watching the Accounting for Non-Accountants video series. Please post your comments and questions below and subscribe to the channel so you'll be the first to find out when new videos are uploaded. This is the second video continuing from the first one which I spoke about in terms of debtors and creditors. I've seen students struggle with debtors and creditors and how to identify which do you have and which is an asset and which is a liability. Here we're going to be focusing on the creditors. Visit the website for more content and resources to help you and follow us on Instagram, Twitter and watch the YouTube channel for more support. What is a creditor? Another word for creditors is the word trade payables. So when focusing on creditors, we need to understand when will we give rise to creditors and we need to understand what definition does creditors actually meet. Remember there are six key accounting elements and those elements are basic and they're universal. It doesn't matter how complicated or how simple the actual application is, you're always going to be focusing on the basics. So please revise and go over those six most important accounting rules which you can find in one of the previous videos. In this video, we're focusing specifically on creditors. Well, what is a creditor? Well, we need to identify what's actually happening in this transaction. The focus is always on our business. So the example that we've been using has been focusing on a bookshop. This bookshop is going to be buying on credit. So if they're buying on credit, they're going to be buying from their suppliers. So when a business buys on credit from the suppliers, we'll be considering the supplier as a creditor. Why do we call them a creditor? Well, we're buying on credit. If we're buying on credit, there's an obligation to pay. So the supplier is going to provide books today and the business then owes the supplier. The business would have to pay in the future and that gives rise to a future outflow of economic benefit. That meets the definition of a liability. We know from a previous video that a liability is an obligation that gives rise to future outflow of economic benefit. So when focusing on a creditor, we're buying today and we're paying later. So always look at it from the perspective of the business. If the business is buying on credit, that creates an obligation. So the supplier is considered a creditor because the business has bought on credit. So when buying on credit, the suppliers who we buy on credit from are called our creditors because we owe them. So a creditor meets the definition of a liability. The rules are so important. Keep it simple, apply the rules correctly. So when focusing on a creditor, we know a creditor meets the definition of a liability. So a liability account would increase on the credit and decrease on the debit. When focusing on creditors, we know it's a short-term liability and therefore we will classify it as a current liability. If I'm buying on credit, I'm going to be increasing the obligation. So the liability account that we have here, which would be creditors, would be increasing when buying more on credit. If I buy on credit, I'm going to have a bigger liability because more is owed to the supplier in the future. I hope you found this video valuable. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button to like the video. Please post any comments and questions below and I will continue making videos to help you.